Hello everyone, and welcome to a bit of a different video today. Because today, instead of focusing on a game or something more specific, I'm fo focusing. I'm focusing on photo modes in games. Because I've been playing around with a fair few different games, and as I've been going, I've been looking more and more into what games have a photo mode. This started properly with me learning about Nvidia Ansel which works on Conan Exiles and The Witcher 3 and... Oh, what's the other game? There's another game where I took tons of screenshots. For Honor! For Honor, yeah, it's got... NVIDIA Ansel is a great little photo mode that works for a bunch of different games. And I had a lot of fun with that, so afterwards, I've been spending time looking up what games have photo modes and getting some really nice images together. So I figured I'd talk about them, just go through the whole topic in general, and at the same time, you'll be seeing in the background all the different photos I've taken from in-game, and none of these have been edited outside of their own photo modes. So no post-production stuff from me on that end, just literally the images as I made them in the photo mode. And I made sure to get a good selection, so there's a few different things you'll see, some with lots of effects on them, some completely basic as they are, just a bit of variation in there to make it more interesting. Now for me personally, I feel that photo mode adds a whole new layer to any game it goes in. Especially obviously the more pretty games. If you're playing checkers, photo mode isn't that important. If you're playing a big open world game with these awesome sights though, you really want to be able to capture some of that. Because it's all good and well just going, oh yeah, I remember the time I first entered the glowing sea. But if you could get a photo of that, and really annoyingly Fallout 4 doesn't have a proper photo mode, which annoys me, and which is why I'm really glad Fallout 76 is going to, but imagine if the first time you killed a Deathclaw or something like that, you could just pause time, take a picture of it, edit it in the game, and then just be like, yep, that's going to stay on my computer, I'll put that as my desktop background at the moment, might share it on Twitter, show some of my friends, it's... It's just something really nice, and especially for single player games. If you haven't got another way to share it with people, it's not everyone's a YouTuber, it's nice to be able to go, oh here's this picture, I can like set it as my, set it as my phone background. My phone background right now is one of these clips, there's one from Bulletstorm, where there's this giant wheel that's coming after you, and I paused the game at that point, got the picture just perfect, and that's now set as my phone background. It's the first phone background I've had on my phone, and it looks awesome. Now going a bit more in depth, with the different photo modes, there's always a few different options to them. Ansel's quite good from what i found so far, I quite enjoyed that, it's very easy to use which is another good point, but it doesn't have a huge number of options. It still has a fair few, and you can edit hue, contrast, saturation, field of view, tons of really good stuff, but it's not got crazy features dedicated to each game like Shadow of War. Shadow of War has backgrounds and little templates you can put on, and it's got stuff integrated into the actual game so you can have logos for different clans and all of that stuff, which is really nice. And I felt that the more options I got, the more fun I had. Like, oh, one's just popped up, I'm looking at my second monitor right now, and one just popped up with a comic book filter on it. And that is awesome, I love that, it's beautiful. It's just great! And oh, the Nightmare Fortress has popped up as well, and I just did barely any editing. Oh god, it's lovely. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm quite excited to make this. I've been thinking about this for a long time, but I wanted to get a better view of photo modes in general first. But as well as having lots more options, simplicity's a big thing too. Because Shadow of War was a bit iffy controlling. It doesn't control in the way that you naturally might use a photo mode, so you have to use dolly and pan and treat it more like an actual camera that's set up on a film set almost, which is good for getting some really nice professional shots and giving you more control, but a little harder to use when you're first getting into it. Now personally, I think that certain games can be a lot more enjoyable with a photo mode. As I said before, with a game like Fallout 4, if that had a photo mode, I'd probably have spent another 500 hours in the game at this point, just getting great images, spending time just setting up shots, because a lot of us are creative people in one form or another, and a photo mode really allows to express creativity in a simple way for all us gamers. It's 
it's just nice, is the message I'm getting across. And for myself personally, as a content creator, I can say it's great. With thumbnails, if you can get a really good photo mode in a game, then whatever game you're covering, you've suddenly got so many more options for backgrounds for your thumbnails. Instead of just searching on Google, trying to find something that isn't watermarked or copyrighted or anything like that, you can just go, oh, I took a whole bunch of photos yesterday, let's see what they're like, or any of them appropriate to the topic of the video, and then you just pop them in. And it's great! And even now I'm making a video entirely based around photo mode, so this is an entire video for me. I haven't decided the thumbnail yet, but I'll probably use one or multiple of the images that I took, because it's great! But instead of me just getting all excited, and I'm losing my train of thought because I'm getting excited about photo mode, I want to ask, do any of you use photo mode? And there will be a poll in the top right corner in the card section. I'd ask you answer, either way, it'll be yes or no, nice and simple. I'd be interested to know how many of my community enjoy photo modes within games and use them. But that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully I'll have been able to put in all the best images I've saved from games, but there might be more. There might have not been enough and I'll have had to double them up. Who knows? As always though, thank you for watching. Do like the video if you enjoyed. Share it around or talk to people about photo modes. Ask your friends if they do them. Ask people you know if they've got photos from games that they want to share. It's something you might not naturally talk about. But it's something that all of us as gamers can be like, oh yeah, that's really, really cool. I remember that moment when I played that game. So talk about it with people. It's a nice conversation starter for any gamers out there, I guess. But I should probably end things there. As always, thank you for watching. Sarge out.